What's going on, y'all? What's going on, y'all? Girl, <laughs> I'm so goddamn lazy today. It don't make no sense. I am off. So, Whew, three days. I have worked the weekend, last weekend, this weekend, and oh, girl, it was just a mess. Okay. Well, no, I didn't work. For, no, I had a three day weekend, but baby, it is. I just tired. Okay, that's just all it is. I work Monday through Sunday. Okay, yeah, that is. I, I worked Tuesday through Sunday because we was off on Monday. Anyway, Married to Madison, <clears throat> season 10, episode 13. What is this called? Golf Cart Girls. Not going to be a long review because nothing really happened. Um, the girls, there's everybody's still on vacation, right? And remember at the end of last week or two weeks ago, the last episode, they split the uh, the, the couples up. So it's basically like if the men usually go golfing, the women actually went to go golfing. They had a good time. You know, they couldn't hit the ball for nothing. T1 because she hit the ball the furthest. Um, but it was a bonding moment. Everybody was getting along. So it was cool. I didn't have a problem with it. The guys went to go and cook because usually i guess i really feel like they put this up here because even though some of the men don't outwardly say that they feel like cooking and all this other stuff is women's work um that's how they feel but then you got somebody like kima who will come in and he'll actually say that uh basically said that this ain't manly work and i'm just like i don't know like I know it's cultural differences or whatever, but I've seen some Nigerian and Jamaican people, Caribbean people, men and all that stuff, whatever, African. Um, they are actually respectable to their, their spouses. They believe in, you know, upholding them and, you know, not the gender roles. And it ain't got nothing about the time difference or the time period or whatever. We got older people that do that or whatever. It, it, it's just like, I, I don't know. It just feels weird to see a young couple. And I'm saying young because I don't know how old Alicia and Kima is. And again, I get it. It's the cultural stuff. But at the same time, like, you got a Nigerian couple. I mean, like, come on. Look at the, the couples that we see on um, Real Housewives of Potomac. We got Wendy and Eddie. We do not see Wendy... Um, degrading Eddie or Eddie degrading her and talk about something I got her trained and I got this and all that. We know Wendy is strong willed or whatever, but you can tell that in their relationship it's kinda equal. You know what I'm saying? But you can tell that Wendy does respect her husband and he respects her back, but don't expect these certain type of gender roles from so many years ago to happen. And when I say gender roles don't mean that oh, it's this new age thing. No, I'm just saying it's not designated that the woman has to stay in the kitchen and the woman has to clean up the house and the men just go out and get the money. It's not one of those situations. You know what I'm saying? It's we both can do both. We both can do everything. You know what I'm saying? You see that even with Nineke and her husband. Like what? I don't get it. But then you get on Married to Madison and you got Kima and um Alicia and he basically keep on talking about what's women's work what's women's work and all this stuff and what's men's work and again yes i get cultural differences but it is irritating me because again i really feel as though um uh, alicia does not agree with that but she's just going along with it because that's her man you know what i'm saying that's her man and she got to uphold her man in public and all that stuff so that's probably why the stuff why she's saying the stuff that she's saying i don't know because i just cannot see her being that way, especially the way that she said, you know, the way that she was raised was some mom said, you can't, don't always try to depend on a man. All right. You may want a man, but you're not supposed to, you know, think and put all your hopes and dreams and depend on them because you never know what's going to happen. And I know some people may take that negatively, but basically it's like you can have a man, you can have a partner, you can have a husband and, 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 um, you respect them and you can be submissive to them to a certain extent. And, you know, but it shouldn't be that because you never know what may happen that you may have to branch off on your own and that man ain't gonna be there or something happened to him where he's no longer there so you can't fully depend on it like that i don't know it's just so weird and they bother me so much with that they bother me so much with that because they do the little cooking stuff of course eugene team won okay as soon as 
Eugene starts saying the name of the dish and pointing out all of the ingredients in the dish and the way he had that thing played. I said, Eugene, you be looking at Top Chef. Eugene be over there looking at Master Chef, Top Chef, uh, uh, what is it, uh, Hell's Kitchen. He be looking at it all, okay? Because that's how he was plating the food and talking about it. We got a uh, 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 little sauté pineapple. We got a uh, sort or what is it? Sorabe or whatever, this and that. I was like, all right, uh, Eugene, we knew he was going to win. But again, they're bonding. Um, they go on the yacht, and here's the thing. And I'm going to skip around on a whole bunch of stuff because a lot of this part of this episode was a bunch of fillers, and it was just them having fun. So you can't really critique them having fun because they was having fun. And I appreciate it because usually when they go on these trips, you get at least two, three days of them going at each other. And we only got one. And it wasn't even for a day. It was just a couple of hours. Okay? And so I was okay with that. Because they go into this yacht. And it was a nice looking yacht. It even got Jackie up there going off and stuff. I was like, oh, Jackie, sit down. When you doing all this stuff? But, um, you know, sweet tea, let's have a conversation. I understand you want to right or wrong or whatever. But just like when I said in the um, previous video with... Real Housewives of Potomac, just let it go. Just let it go, okay? You apologize. I, maybe because it's me. If I apologize the first time, I'm not apologizing again. You don't accept it. You're not coming around to it. That's fine with me. I don't care. I'm not going to beg nobody. I don't care if you like me or not, okay? It is what the freak it is, all right? But um, she did apologize again to Jackie because she was over there talking to Toy, and Toy was like, basically... She don't care. Like, this is her old school way of thinking or whatever. Like, it is what it is. Because Jackie told Alicia, like, she wasn't going to say nothing. She wasn't going to say nothing because she just was, it was going to make the situation a little bit tighter than what it was. And, um, yeah. Because Jackie going to say something. What I should have did was deal with her mama. Should have taught her, uh, what her mama should have taught her. I said, Jackie, hush. Okay. But at the same time, I get both sides. You don't want to have that guilt on you, knowing that you basically, you know, had your frustrations and you just took it out on somebody. Granted, if... Now, when Heavy was explaining the whole situation on her lie that she did with Carlos, basically was saying when it came to that situation with Sweet Tea, Sweet Tea was complaining about a lot of the stuff that was going on, you know, with the payments of the um, venue and all this stuff. And she was like, damn, what more can I take? What more can happen? And the comment that Sweet Tea was talking about, Dr. Jackie said, was basically, you need to just be quiet before they bring um, the woman in to his bachelorette party or whatever, the bachelor party and all this stuff. And according to Dr. Hadley, listen to me good, according, because <laughs> y'all know how she do. According to Dr. Hadley, it was just in a... The way that it was said was not saying, oh, we can bring her in to start some drama. No, that the producers can bring her in to start some drama or whatever, can make up some stuff or whatever. So just calm down because you don't want that to happen. It wasn't her trying to attack her or whatever. Do I believe that? Absolutely not. But <laughs> do I believe it can happen and they can do that? Yes. But do I believe that that's what she meant? Absolutely not. Because, again, even Dr. Jackie said that they were jerking. They were doing a lot of stuff to her. And I'm saying I'm surprised that y'all admitted that. Because y'all were. Let's be clear. You can feel how you feel about Sweet Tea. Um, because I probably feel the same way. But at the same time, do I feel like she got a fair shot when she came into this uh, crew? Absolutely not. Okay. Um, they kept on comparing her to Quad. They kept on talking about she's in Quad's house. She's in Quad's house, this and this and that and that. Um, she's young and all this stuff or whatever. Okay, who cares? But let me tell you something also, Miss Sweet Tea. You can't get in your feelings because somebody called you baby girl when the whole time you've been on this show, you've been age shaming these people. So you 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 up in your feelings because she called you baby girl or little girl or whatever. Baby, you've been age shaming them since you first got on your first episode. So like, come on, is it Uchi Wally or is it one mic? Which one is it? You can't like <laughs> if you could dish it, you have to be able to take it. All right. I do apply Jackie for acknowledging that they was being petty with her. But at the end of the day, 
Do I 100% believe that she meant that? Absolutely not. When Jackie said an apology is for you and not for me, she meant that. She just said what she said so that they can have a good time and it can be, quote unquote, no hard feelings. Okay? Sweet T, I take that shit with a grain of salt. <laughs> I take, girl, if Dr. Jackie say some shit out of her mouth, I 100% believe that's how you felt right off the bat. And I'm going to walk away. Okay? I'm going to just walk away and I'm going to just leave that shit alone because, girl, you ain't fit a lot of my face. Um, there's that. But they did have a good time on the yacht. It came part to them, you know, doing the food and the women's ate out inside and the men ate outside and then here come alicia here's your plate babe um i'm finna serve you a plate and here go kima i got her trained i got her trained and i i don't care if it's a joke i don't find stuff like that funny and you can say i'm taking things too serious or whatever but it is 50 degrees i know it was warm i just freaking knew because i went outside early and i was like oh my god it's practically summer out here Mind you, for the past two days, it's been like 20-some, low 30s, 20. I said, girl, what? And that's back up to the summertime. Girl, we spring here. Freak that. Freak that. Okay. But, yeah, you know, that whole training, I, I got her trained and all this stuff. I don't care if it's a joke. And it's not a joke when it comes to them two because no matter how you explain it, we see the behavior and the dynamics between y'all relationship. We already witnessed that. And y'all already told us stuff. And y'all already said things that makes me believe that it's not a joke. That it's for real. And when he tried to explain it and say, you know, I got to have her, you know, it's not like I'm training, training. It's like, you know, you got to be on schedule. You got to do this. You got to do that. When I say I want my food here, I want my soup. That's training. That's literally what you just said. I don't know. I don't know. They are weird to me. Some of y'all may like them. They're weird to me. I don't like that dynamic. I like, I don't know. It just looked like some stuff probably be going on behind closed doors. I don't know. Maybe she tried to let him be the man in public and then she probably be going in on his ass behind saying, I have no idea. I have no idea. But something about them is a little off to me, um, especially Alicia. When we got to that saying, Dr. Jackie said, excuse me, train animals, dogs. We train animals. We don't train humans, okay? I said, I know that's the fuck right. I know that is right, all right? But see, then, you know, all of the otherwise, see, this is the joke of it. You know, when you say stuff like that, and then you got the wives coming out, and they're, you know, serving a mans or whatever. That's funny. That's cute. That was lovey-dovey. It was in the air of the moment because of what was going on. I didn't take offense to that, okay? And then Dr. Jackie, she caved in, and she went on ahead and gave Curtis his food because he was like, what about mine? I was like, I ain't finna give you that. <laughs> but she went on ahead and did it. And like he said, you only did it because you ain't want to sing, you know, the I one out. And everybody else was serving their men. Now, I was like, that's exactly what it was. Okay? Because other than that, Curtis, you give it that we up in Hilton Head. Hilton Head, the place of your indiscretions. You get your ass up and you serve your own goddamn food. But you know what? She let you slide. She let you slide. And she went on ahead and played along. That was cute or whatever. So, we're going to keep the peace for the moment. All right? But when they got inside and they was asking all these questions to uh, Alicia. And it was like simple banter. Like, they really wasn't going in deep. Because... Somebody had the nurse tell me something. Uh, well, what Alicia said to Toya, she deserved it. She deserved it because Toya started. Toya was asking the questions that I wanted to know. So I don't think that her telling her that maybe Eugene needs to uh, train you. Okay? Put a collar around your neck and buzz. Mm -hmm. And then she kept on going. I'm just sitting here like, girl, what? Because I would have asked the same thing. Are you really okay with your man saying that he could train you or whatever? Like, what? I, I can't believe I'm on Toya's side about this. And I'm so surprised Toya didn't snap off on her. But, you know, that's, I guess you could say, growth. <laughs> but I'm like, God damn it, bitch. Who you talking about? I need a collar. She said, no, we do collars, but we don't do it in that way. You know, we do it in other ways. And you know what? This is why I just really clocked out about them, too. Now, I get it. I get it that sometimes some things ain't for certain people. But I just find it weird sometimes when I hear a couple that's been together for a while and they don't engage in oral, you know what I'm saying? They don't engage in oral and then you can tell that one cup, one part of the couple wanted more than the other and they just sacrificing 
Let me tell you this. They said this in a couple of upper, uh, episodes before that they don't engage in oral. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, mm. And the way that Alicia was looking like, she, she even said, you can do it a little bit more. But I don't think he like oral. I'm sitting here like, oh, it's really men out there don't like to get their penis sucked. Wow. Now, where y'all at? <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I found that out, I, I was like, I know with some women that don't like to get congolingus because, you know, depending on who you with, they probably don't even know how to do it right. Or some women just don't get the sensation down there. You know, maybe it's a little bit of clitoris damage or something like that. I don't know. To each his own. But I would ask questions too. Like, Toya said, you could say that she probably was doing a little bit much, okay? I'll give y'all that. But she said, wait a minute, was it not good? Did you not do it right? <laughs> on the way, I was thinking the same thing. But on the other hand, some people just don't like Orel. Okay? They just don't like Orel. It, it is what it is. But, you know, I don't think... I'm not going to say Alicia really took offense to it, but the way that she responded back by saying, Eugene needs to train your ass. I was like, calm down, girlfriend. We just talking. It ain't, it ain't that deep, boo, boo you know. She, she was just doing the most for me. I just, I don't know. Something about them just really off. When they did that little um thing, now Jackie, now Jackie, why you have to say that about Sweet Tea? <laughs> Listen, it was funny, but it was wrong. Y'all just got into it. She just said she ain't like the fact that she was calling her baby girl, all that stuff, whatever. And you go say, oh, this set up like a little mini, uh, uh, what is it? A middle school um situation. Sweet tea, I like it. I said, wait a minute, girlfriend, calm down. Okay, because if we could get on you for a lot of stuff, ma'am. All right, the people can come for you for a lot of stuff. They have been. So you calm that down. It was cute. It was cute, but calm it down, okay, girlfriend? Um, but yeah, they had this little thing set up where they was going around asking questions. Um... One of the questions or things when it comes to social media, Curtis will like Jackie to stay off of social media, give him more time because when she gets home from work, she's catching up on social media and stuff like that. And she even said that, you know, um, they should be having more sex, but she be tired. Girl, figure it out. Didn't you cut some of your hours? I mean, you 60 years old. That don't mean that it's dead down there. Okay, you know, because she even said we should be having more, but she just be tired. Same thing with Simone. And you know what? Honestly, I understand the doctors if they do that because they have a really strenuous work schedule, you know. And so I can understand them being tired and then have to come home and want to fuck your man or wife or whatever. And it's just be a lot. It be a lot. You know what I'm saying? So, but y'all got to work around it some way, somehow. But obviously, you do what you got to do when it's been working and you find areas to improve because y'all still together. Hey, moving on. Um, <clears throat> Eugene said he getting it in a little bit more because, you know, he lost the weight or whatever. I said, okay. The whole thing about financial responsibility and all that stuff. Um, Alicia did put up a question talking about she basically wanted them to be a little bit equal or something like that. Like, she into real estate and she wanted to buy some property with their money. He took the money and invested it in some crypto stuff. And he was like, okay, and so what? I was like, ew. Listen, as soon as I heard crypto, I was like, y'all lost the money, huh? Because then in the uh, confessional, she was like, had he listened to me, you know, and put it in this, we would have actually made a profit. Now, the way that she said that, it was like they lost the money. And I said, crypto. I really feel like crypto is a goddamn scam, okay? Anytime I see Bitcoin, Apple, uh, uh, accounts, Forex, crypto, I block them, okay? You will never get me to invest in none of that shit because I just don't trust it, right? And he was like, don't you, you taking it too serious. You taking it too serious. I was like, let her talk. Every time she tried to talk in that confessional, he tried to say something over her. I'm just like, uh, and she at one point had to tell him, you gonna let me talk instead of interrupting me? I said, let her talk. You don't want her to put it out there that you awesome, you you messed up. That's just basically what it was. You messed up with the money. And then try to tell them that he the financial person because y'all know what that means. You know, she be taking the money. He basically tried to make it seem as if she just be spending this and spending that and don't have no financial responsibility. She's very financially illiterate because it's just, you know, just blowing money on any and everything. She can't account for what $150,000 went to. Baby, I don't know why, but you remember that Medea play where she was like, you take, um, uh, uh, I was giving that example of the bird. 
going, taking a little uh, uh, stick here, put a little stick here over there, over time, building their own nest on the other side. That's what it felt like. That's what it felt like. Immediately, as soon as I heard, oh, she took $150,000 and she can't even tell me where it went. She can't tell me where $150,000 went over the past few months. I said, oh, so what you doing? You put that over to the side for safekeeping so you can get your easily escape. That's what it felt like, y'all. I don't know. But I don't, she felt some type of way. You could see her face when she he said that. I, maybe it do work. I don't know. Maybe you're not, I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't care to see them again on the next season. But I don't know. Even though they prompt these questions, I will give them this. Everybody took the questions and the answers in stride. They didn't get upset or anything like that. So I was I was here for all of that. Um Phaser was there and I just need to understand why. I think this question. Somebody said on um, previous season when they had that couple ship, they had a problem that quiet came and she was single. Why the hell was uh Phaser there? She's single. Exactly. Um, but yeah, other than that, I feel like that was basically the whole episode. If I missed anything, y'all can put it down in the comments. Y'all tell me how y'all felt about that episode, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.